Anna, I feel so sorry when I see you like this. Don't do this. You'll be with someone soon. Someone nice. Someone who really loves you, who will take care of you. No way. Of course you will. I believe a person only falls in love once, Melissa. Come on, don't say that. It's true. I would have given my right arm for Kareem. That kind of love only happens once. I used my chance on him. I laid down my life for him. All that's left is a scar. So what? Will you spend your life alone from now on? No, I won't. I won't remain alone, but... I will never be in love again. That's ridiculous. You'll fall in love again. But you have to summon it. Love won't come if you don't ask. <sighs> don't you have her address? Maybe in her application form. Please check. Unfortunately, Mr. Ken, we don't have those forms. Do you have her phone number? Sorry, no. Fine, thank you. Take care. Sir, just, just a second, please. She once gave me her friend's phone number. That's great. I hope I have it here. <laughs> Let's hope so. I can't enter this tournament without Coach Anna's help. She's the best. We know. We're sorry she left, too. We hope she returns. Let's see if I have it here. Anna's friend. Huh. Here. You should stay with me tonight. Who's this? Hello? Hello. Is this Ms. Melissa? Yes, it is. And who's calling? I'm Ken Varal. Oh, Ken Varal who? Have we met, Mr. Ken? No, we haven't. I'm a friend of Anna's. Don't. Just don't. Oh, okay. Are you really? Um, I can't reach Anna. She's changed her phone number. I wanted to know if you had it. I have it, but I don't know, Mr. Ken. Look, I really have to reach her. She's quit her job. I'm worried. I'll be very happy if you can help me. Well, Mr. Ken, Anna is with me right now. What are you? Just talk. Hello, Ken. Anna. I was so scared that I wouldn't reach you. Isn't this something you already knew? You told me so. You didn't like him from the beginning. But I thought it was settled after he signed the prenup. Isn't that so? That boy made me believe that he loved her, Sharon. This letter proves that he doesn't. You're so right. You're feeling like he cheated you, don't you? I do. So you're back where you started. What's the problem now? The last test results were good. Celine will most likely get better very soon. But Celine believes that this man is really her partner in life. I can't just tell her the truth about him. She might get sick again. Oh, God forbid. How will I let this cheat live in my very own house and as my beloved daughter's husband, no less? You're right. There's a traitor among you.